Hey everyone, I'm Marrier, and this is probably going to get me some hate. And I apologize in advance. This is a review of which is better for PvP, the Galahorn or the Truth. I'm just going to come out and say it, and as much hate as this is going to get me, I kind of like the Truth more than the Galahorn. No, 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 wait, just let me back up a second. The Galahorn is the fucking Galahorn. It is the symbol of destiny. And because they finally brought it back, it has been even better than ever. Because there's an iron variant, and it looks fucking awesome. But in sheer gameplay, the wolf pack rounds, even though they technically nerfed them at the end of year one, you know, right when it didn't matter anymore, and it wasn't in year two, and it is still an amazing gun in year three, you get it, and this is a gun you always have on you because it is always a good choice. There are very few times where a Galahorn isn't a really good option. I can't think of any that aren't good off the top of my head, but it's always a good choice. It has tracking, which is bullshit. It has wolf backgrounds with a bullshit, and it just happens to go absurdly fast, which is just really damn useful. Especially in PvP, because people can't react in time. It is literally a great fire and forget weapon. But then there's the truth. This thing, honestly, I hate the look of it. I, I absolutely despise how it looks. I really can't stand it. It has options and they do things. Um, it has grenades and horseshoes, which is actually very useful, and I will never say anything bad about that. That is an incredibly useful perk. It makes fire and forget weaponry even better because if it gets close, it'll explode so you don't overshoot your enemy. It has heavy payload, which increases the blast radius, which is also even better because it emphasizes grenade and horseshoe being awesome. But it has prototype truth seeker. Rounds fired from this weapon seek their target aggressively. This is bullshit. I have seen it turn right corners at a 90 degree angle. Now, like all rocket launchers, the tracking feature takes a little while to kick in. Maybe like two room lengths, so it's not good up close unless you just shoot, boom, die. In which case, any rocket launcher is as good as the next, it will kill. This one, though, is great at longer ranges because it will find your enemies in the most amazing places and it will just tear them apart. They can turn a corner and then circle a building and this thing will still, if it's locked on, it will hit them. It is bullshit and I love it in PvP because it will tear through your opponents. That said, there is one little caveat. Hey, yeah, yeah, big word. For Crucible, I would always go Truth because you can actually also get more ammo. You can get three shots in Truth and only two in Iron Galahorn, or just regular Galahorn, because whenever you have boots with the rocket launcher, rocket launcher, oh, that's not, I have rocket launcher boots somewhere around here. Ah, there they are, rocket launcher boots. That sets it up so that the Galahorn still just gets two shots, but the Truth interacts with it to get a third, which is invaluable because you only get two in PvP. A third one is just amazing. Like, that caveat coming back to that, the one time this is not the case would be if you're, say, running a Supremacy match, which happens to be what Iron Banner is as of the first time it came out. Which should give you an idea when this video is coming out if you're watching later. In Supremacy, though, this is a very much up-close and personal thing. And while the truth is just as amazing there as anywhere, the Galahorn actually edges it out in Supremacy because of the tracking rounds. The first round will always take out your enemy, and the other ones, in a normal PvP map, if people are spread out, you'll get one kill, one shot. In this one, though, it's not unusual to see teams focusing together and trying to tear through opponents, and that's a very good strategy. But with Galahorn, it's amazing, because that first blast will take out your enemy. The expanded range will damage everyone nearby or kill them. If they survive, though, those little homing wolf pack rounds they will make sure that anyone nearby is then dead. It is not unusual to get two or three kills if you fire into a grouping and then you just have half the team gone. And that's off a single shot. Now, you only get two shots, but considering one well-played shot can kill as many as the entirety of Truth with all of its three shots max, that's bullshit in the highest caliber order. And if nothing else, 
those tracking rounds still make the camera shake when someone gets hit by them, so it gives you time to reorient with a non-heavy weapon, pull it up, and shoot them down. It is amazing for this up-close and personal match type. Now, its range and its tracking won't be as much of a feature, but the wolf pack rounds alone in Supremacy give it a massive advantage, because it is just good. Outside of Supremacy, though, where you have a more long-range fight, where you have more people spread out further, I'd still go Truth because Truth is amazing. And to make the old pun all the time, you know the truth, it will set you free, specifically of your body. I find it hilarious though that this is actually the text on it. You know the truth is where you seek it. Oh, I thought you used to say it will set you free. Well, I was wrong. All the same, as much as I like the truth, at least in Supremacy and PvP, the Galahorn is the clear victor. And in PvE, they're honestly, the, the truth is it's just a rocket launcher with tracking, which is not bad, but Galahorn kind of wins just because it's the fucking Galahorn. Yeah. In PvP, though, with the exception of Supremacy, Truth wins. So, all the same, hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and if you can, that little subscribe button should be right down here, right in this little corner. Yeah, yeah, just uh, press it, press it. Thanks for pressing it. If you haven't, press it. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to work. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Later.